Hi, it's Alaska Granny. Did you recently acquire the Panda Compact Washing Machine and you're curious about how it all hooks together? Well, I'm going to show you how to set it up and how to hook it up in a kitchen and in a bathroom so that you can use it at your house and figure out which works best for you. The Panda comes with two hoses. The shorter hose is about 43 inches long is the water hose so you simply take the one end is bigger than the other you take the smaller end and you simply place it on the wash basin side of your machine then the drain hose is the longer one and it's already installed from the bottom and you can see you put this clip over here if it's not already on there and then it's sturdy and hooked so that that's the part that goes over the drain. Let me show you. Take the larger end of the water intake hose and you simply slip it over the end of your faucet. Push it on there securely and keep your eye on it when it's filling. Then you take the hook end of your drain and you simply stick it down into the drain and the hook part will anchor it so that it won't come out. Then you'd simply turn on the water and your panda will fill from the hose that's hooked to your sink. Then you take the cord from the back and you plug it in to your nearest outlet. The electrical cord is six feet long so it gives you a little more room than the hoses. This one is 43 inches long and the drain hose is 54 inches long. Now that I have both hoses and the cord, I'm going to hold on to this to make sure that it stays secure and then I can turn on the water and my machine is filling. So whether I want hot water or cold water, it's up to me. And you can see the machine is filling from the hose. The water is pouring in there. I can get as much or as little as I want. Know that there uh, is an overflow over here. It's about three inches down. You don't want to fill up to that or it's going to flow down into the hole. Let me get a better close up of that. See where this hole is? You want to keep it down below that hole. Otherwise it's going to overflow and it's going to leak all over. So you can see, we've used it so many times, there's kind of a ring around here. So keep it an inch or two below that, and then when it agitates, it won't splash around and splash over the hole. No. Now that it has water in it, I can close the lid, turn it to wash, and then turn it to how many minutes I want. And you can see the agitator goes around. The uh, agitator is in the bottom and it'll spin one way and then it'll stop and it'll spin the other way. So see if you had very delicate things, it is quite uh, vigorous, so delicate things I always wash in one of those little baskets. Here's a telltale sign of residual detergent. See there's a few bubbles and there isn't even anything in it. So use less detergent than you think. Then when I would be finished with that, I would open the clothes, or the spinner, put the clothes in here, put this on top, this extra thing would go on top of the clothes, then you would close both lids, and then you would turn it to uh, spin. And nothing's going to come out of the drain right now because there's no water in there. But if I had water in there, see, and that's what's nice. This turns off when you're not, uh, when the lid is open, so you can't hurt yourself. You can see it's going, and I open the lid, and it stops. So it has a safety feature, which is nice. Then when I'm ready to drain my entire tub, I will turn this to drain. And then the water simply goes out through the other hose into the drain. You can see it's going down. It's pumping 
up this hose and it's held securely by the U thing into the drain. So it's very, very simple. The water goes out and like I said, any water that's in the spinning side goes out the same exact drain hose. It's done draining, so I simply turn this to the middle position, which turns it off. It's not on wash or drain, it's on off. It doesn't say off, but that's what the middle position means. Then there may be a little bit of residual uh, water down in there, so if you're putting it away for a while, leave it open to drain or to evaporate. And if you're concerned there might be a little extra in the hose, Put it over onto the floor with a little bucket and see if any drains out. So there might be a little bit left down in the very bottom, but see it's just a few drops. It's nothing I worry about. Then I take the little clip and simply hook it back onto the side of the machine. See where it hooks on the side of the machine? When you're done washing and rinsing and spinning, remove your hose from off of the faucet. I just sort of loop it over and put it down into the bin. If there's any little extra bits of water, it'll evaporate. Then I take the drain hose, has this little clip, and it clips right onto the side of the machine. When you're done, Take the clip on the drain hose, hang it on the little side of the machine, coil up the hose, and hook it with the Velcro to keep it out of the way. Unplug your panda and you simply wind the cord around these brackets on the back. These are so sturdy, they've held up very well. Everything on this has. I've been using this machine for an entire, well my daughter has, and I visit her and I use it, and we've used it for an entire year, 300 loads, and everything is still going just like new. It only weighs 28 pounds, it has two little handles on the side, pick it up and move it wherever you're going to store it. The challenge of a panda in a tiny bathroom isn't using the panda, it's trying to make a video because you can't get the panda and yourself in the world's tiniest bathroom. Well, practically the tiniest. Anyway, I'm going to show you how to hook it up to the bathroom sink. You use the same procedure. You have the water hose, stick it in on the uh, left side of your machine and then just hook it over the end of the faucet. Just pay attention to it when you're filling it up to make sure that it stays together. Then the last two places she lived, this fit right over the edge. And it doesn't fit here, this is too wide. So what I figured out is you can push the hose up so there's a little slack in it, and then hook that over the faucet this way, and slide the hose down farther if you need to, to prevent any kind of splashing. So you have to maneuver it a little bit and pay attention to it. Let me show you what I mean. I took the drain hose and just slid it up so there was some loose part in it and hooked it over the drain this way and then just let it uh, get hooked back in. I could probably put it down lower if I want. I just want to make sure it doesn't splash, so I think it'll be better this way. And then I just hook the water over it like this. The last two bathrooms, like I said, her uh, the edge between the sink and the counter fit this perfectly, so I didn't have to do any maneuvering. And I'll show you what you do. Now you simply plug it in, turn on the water, whether you want cold or you want hot, it's your choice. You turn on the water and the machine is filling up. Then, after you plug it in, of course, 
then the water is ready to wash. Then when I want to pump it out, I will put it on drain and I'll pay attention now that this doesn't fly all over the place. So you can see it's still going right into the sink. It's filling up my machine. Then when I'm ready to wash, I simply turn the water off and turn my machine to wash and it'll agitate. Then when I want to drain, I simply put it to drain and the water will come out and see this will stay put and it'll drain it right back into the sink. When your cycle is done, simply unhook the water faucet, unhook the drain faucet, and you put it away. Maybe you have a little spot at the end of your hall or in your entryway or even in a little nook behind your couch. If you're interested in the Panda Compact Washer, know that we've used it for over a year. It's still just like new and performs like nobody's business. So for $200, this is the way to go if you don't want to trek and drag your things to the laundry room laundromat. Let me know what you think about the Panda Washer and please subscribe to Alaska Granny. Have a wonderful day.